There we go. Okay, guys. Welcome back into Blender. Uh, well, welcome back to Blender. Um, now we're going to bring in our clothes that we had made in uh, Marvel's Designer and put them on our body so that we can rig it. And then I'll show you guys how I'll... Blah, blah. <laughs> I will show you guys how we do weight painting, what weight painting is, and all the fun joys of rigging. So, first things first, we need to go down to the bottom of our screen to where the layers are, and we're going to select an empty layer. From our empty layer, we're going to go up to File, Import, OBJ, and then we're going to select the garment that we made from our project folder. Now that we have our project garment inside here, you can see that once we hold down Shift and select our first layer, that the garment snaps right onto the body just like it did in Marvelous Designer. That's why I said don't close it or change the position because we just want the body, the garment to snap onto it. If for some reason you closed it during that time or you lost it, you can just click on the bones and press R and then position your legs open until they snap back into your pants. So it's no big deal if you lost it. It's just a little step. So right now we have to attach this uh, clothes to the skeleton. Now because we had spread the legs open, we alternate, altered it. We altered it from the default T-pose that the garment came into. So if we try to attach our clothes to the skeleton while the legs are spread apart, aka the altered state, you'll see that we'll get an error in our garment. The pants will expand out like this and as we try to rotate the bones um, the legs will be outside the garment and that's no good. So we need to do a special type of rigging uh, attachment to the skeleton and this is called alter to rest pose. I know in the later versions of Avastar they removed this feature and there's a whole different steps to doing it um, which is why I suggest you use Avastar 1 like I'm doing for rigging for this body because alter to rest pose is here and it's as simple as clicking a button. So what we're going to do is attach this garment to our skeleton in its altered state. So first things first, we're going to press A and deselect everything so we know which order we're doing this. And you're going to hold down shift, then you're going to select your clothes, only the clothes, and then you're going to select the skeleton. Now you may be in pose mode just by default. Just go into object mode for this to work. And just so we clear again, let's just press A one more time and then select your clothes again, hold down shift, and select your bones. So now everything is properly selected. Now we're going to start our altered rigging. So go over to the left side of your screen until you see the Avastar tab. Select it. We're going to open this a bit. And then you're going to open the skinning tab. And you're going to choose where it says weight. We're going to select bones. It may be on keep when you open it up, but we want to switch it to bones. And you want to have clear weights and then alter to rest pose. And then once you have those two boxes checked, you're just going to press this one that says bind to armature. Wait for it, wait for it. There you go. Now, when we click on our bones you'll see that it moves with the leg and it's not outside the leg. Granted the weights aren't exactly perfect but you know we can make them perfect. Before we go into actually weight painting I want to test something out real quick. Something I was always curious about but I never really had the time to check it out. I guess this is an inappropriate time to do so but hey I'm curious. It'll bother me until I do. Nope that's the same. Okay. So, <laughs> alright, so we're going to get into uh, weight painting, which is the, really the key to rigging and sec rigging. Um, we're going to press A, and I'm going to press Alt-R, and this is going to snap the body back into its default rest pose, which is the T-pose. Now, you see how the leg is behaving here? It's behaving like this because although... Blender copied weights to the garment and allows it to move. It copied weights from the bones and not from our body. 
So what we want to do is transfer the weights from the body to the uh, clothes so that it moves more like the, uh, the body does. So let's see. This is how the shirt is moving with bone weight with the bones <laughs> and then we're going to transfer weights from the body to the garment so press a and deselect everything then you click on the garment right here in the back then you hold down shift and select the garment you always want to do the body first then the garment then you go from object mode to weight paint mode and then you press weight transfer. Now if you've done right, you'll see that the colors may change or go away or whatever. But don't worry, we transfer the weights. Now this weight system only works in seven Blender 2.72 and under. They changed it in 7.3 and up. So if you're on a later version of, Avis, of Blender, it won't work like this. You'll have to do data transfer. And I have no idea how data transfer work. I just stick down here on 7.2 and I do my rigging. So all those people who followed my instructions and got on 7-2, all you have to do is make sure that you have all nearest face all selected. And when we click on the bone and press R and rotate it, you see it's moving a lot better than it did when it just had the regular weights. However, just because we transfer the weights onto there like that doesn't mean that the garment doesn't have its issues. When you have a garment where the pants are really close together like this you get what we like to call sticky pants now sticky pants is a pain in the butt but we can fix it with a little bit of training now I know some people say you don't get sticky pants if your garments are quad mesh that's a lie you will I had the quadest of quad pants and they still stuck and um, others will say uh, if you do data transfer you won't get sticky pants. I don't know. Maybe that's true because I don't use data transfer. <laughs> so I wouldn't know. But sticky pants aren't all terrible. This is a good way to teach you how to better understand weight painting. And it'll help you uh, be able to fix it if you do run into this error. Or if somebody else has run into this error and they need your help. Um, so this is a good way to do it. And uh, learn at the same time. So the way Blender does rigging is through weight painting. And weight painting is pretty much bone heat. You'll notice that when you are painting, when you go onto Blender, you'll... Damn, I'm so sorry. Uh, basically, you're painting heat onto your garment. The redder something is, the more control the bone has over the garment. And the bluer it is, the less... Um, control it has over the garment. So red equals one and blue equals zero. Um, think of it as like a cartoon or those old thermal cameras that they have. So the redder something is, the hotter it is, and the colder it is, the bluer it is. So you, the redder the color is, the more control the bone has over the garment, the bluer it is, the less control it has. So I'm going to give you a quick example of this. Um, so let's take this leg. You see how it has some green on here and it's moving because it has green. But most of it's blue so it's not moving when we move the leg. So let's turn the heat all the way up to 1, which is bright red. And we just paint all of this red. Now when we move the bone, you see all of the garment that is red or painted red is moving with it. Whereas if we take it and cool it down and turn it down to like blue, which is nothing cold, you see the bone lost all its control here and it's not really moving. Well, it's moving now because it's got, you know, um, fit mesh bones in there that's got some heat. But you see what I mean? So basically when you're rigging, you're just trying to strike the right temperature between the garments and make sure everything looks right. If something isn't pulling the way you think, just add or remove some heat and then you'll be and just keep adjusting the temperature until it looks right. That's pretty much the secret to weight painting. So I'm going to do another data transfer because I jacked up the weights. <laughs> and we're going to get in here and fix the stickiness. 
So basically what it is, is weights from this leg is pulling on this side and weights from this leg is pulling on the other side. So it causes it to have this sort of sticky grilled cheese effect. Although we could have called it cheese leg. I just think sticky pants sounds a lot cuter. So we need to just get in here and do some fine tuned rigging by reducing um, the color and make sure everything is on where it's supposed to be. So what we're going to do is start on this leg right here. And I'm going to click on the fit mesh bone, this little one right here. Then I'm going to press the M key and it gets into masking. Or you can press this little checker box right here and that does the same thing. Now once we have that selected, it's just a matter of selecting the triangle, turning up the heat, and heating up the triangles you know definitely belong on the right side. So it's like, all right, like this. We know this belongs on this side. This stuff is on that side. Now, if we see stuff that doesn't belong on this side, we're just going to turn the weight down to nothing and just go like this. Cool it off. So it's leaving, losing this power <laughs> all over here and going back to where it belongs. Now we could just press this bone here. Do the same thing. Stuff we know don't belong over there. Just rake it all on across. We can put the bigger button here for effect. See how it just kind of separates? Hot and cold, hot and cold. Click hot and cold. Go over to the other bone. Ooh, sorry, ant. Let's see, what's over here? Now we can heat this up. Snap it back. Hot and cold, hot and cold. Cool. Uh, party. <laughs> Alright, so this doesn't belong over here. So get out of here, you. I don't know, this used to bother me a lot when I first started out, but I actually found it kind of relaxing. Just mindlessly clicking and painting. Uh, let's see, this doesn't belong, that doesn't belong. It's like sorting. Alright. Doesn't take very long. Almost done. I wonder what side this belongs on. Does this have any weight? I wonder. Oh, let's try heating this up. See where that goes. There we go. Nice. <laughs> do, do, do. Whoopsie daisy. Turn this down. And if you get confused as to what goes where, all you have to do is just, like, I like to just make it cold. And then see what side it snaps on, then heat it up on one leg and see where it goes. If it goes over there, then it goes. If not, it's obviously on the other leg. Alright, so we got it all sorted pretty much. Just a little bit more on this side. Oh, wait, wait, you know what? We should have cooled this off. You can get in there if you want to with the regular brush and not a masking, but some reason I have the most unfortunate luck of whenever I try to do it, I just cool off the whole leg. <laughs> so it's like, no, it's broken. So, cool that off, cool that off, and uh, heat this up. There we go. Then we can get in there a lot easier. So this is red. So put that in here. And red that. And red this. Click over here. Make sure there's no heat on this side. And on that side. Now if it still looks a little chunky, it's a good chunk chance it's the weights. So we got the majority of it out. I'm not weights. It might just be the mesh. Because you see the mesh got kind of janky. But we can fix that later. So just put this here. Pull and check. Pull and check. Make sure nothing. Alright. 
So now we have the sticky pants fixed and our pants are weighted. But they are kind of messed up right now. But we can fix this with just uh, a little bit of editing. No big deal. So now we have our pants rigged. We're just going to click on the down here. Now I actually want to press L and separate these. So I'm going to press L over this and press P and separate my pants from my shirt. Alright, now I'm going to grab these. And there's two ways you can um, correct the mesh. Because what happened was when we had made it, the legs were spread out. So when we snapped it in, it kind of went inside the body. This happens sometimes. It's not a big deal. So we have two ways to do it. We can do soft editing, also known as proportional editing. Or we can just use the sculpt tool and puff it out. So it really depends on what you feel like doing. So I'll show you on one leg how to do it using proportional editing. And then we'll puff it out on the other one using sculpt. So um, what we do next is we go and press tab and go into edit mode. And I'm going to press this button down here that's a limit selection so that it's not all x-rayed. <laughs> Alright, now we have that selected. We're just going to select this little circle here. And I'm going to press enable. And then I'm going to use the vertex select. So I can easier to grab dots into this lines. Now you want to click and hold your mouse. And you're going to roll your um, center mouse wheel in and out. And you'll see a little circle. This circle is your field of influence, so if it's small, it's only going to pull out this much. But if it's bigger, you'll see it pulls out a whole lot more. So that helps out. So um, click and roll it out just a little bit, and then just slightly pull it out until your mesh goes out. So click and then pull, click and pull. And there you have it. Now on this leg, we're going to do sculpting, which is kind of better. Alright, so... Um, if you don't want to use proportional edit, you can use your sculpt tool. So just go into sculpt mode and you can do the same thing, but just pull it out. Sculpt mode, on the other hand, has symmetrical settings. So if they were both collapsing on the same time and you only want to do one leg at a time, you could just do like this and pull it out that way. Uh, but I did one leg already, so I'm just going to turn my symmetry, symmetry off. So we can either grab it and pull it out just like we did there. It's not as dramatic as the proportional edit. Or as um, another thing is you can puff it out with the inflate and just click and roll it over. Puff, puff. Like that. And just pull it out that way. It's all a matter of preference. Um, both have a risk of making it look bigger. But when it comes to the butt in this avatar, I don't know if that's really a bad thing. Um, so we can do the same thing down here. Spread the legs apart. Uh, puff this out of it, maybe even smooth it out of it. Cool. I'm a little wary of it, but whatever. Pants aren't my forte. So you got your pants all fixed. Now there is a bit of a gap here that we may want to address because, as you see with the back face coloring on, um, it's a little hollow here. So what I want to do is go here in edit mode. I want to select my edge select down here. I'm going to hold down Alt and click on the edge. And then I'm going to press S and scale it inward a bit. And I know it's going, it's collapsing inside, but it's alright. We'll, we'll just pull it back out. Do some tailoring so it's not too far out. Okay, so, <laughs> whoops, I guess I left a little bit of butt out there, but, uh, let's see. Oh, no, I'm going to fix it, because I know it's going to bother me. There we go. Perfect. So, no lines, no what you call it, so we're all in there, everything's fine, moving the leg, that could use a little bit of work, but hey, I don't really have time to fix that. Alright, so, we have our shirt that's rigged, we have our 
pants rigged well our pants rig and our shirt all that's left now is to work on the texture and export so I guess in the next video we're going to talk about baking our texture and then exporting it out and exporting the mesh out too because every time I did my last previous textures I've exported then alt mess with the UVs and then have to put them back in there again do a secondary export and I don't got the coin for that so we are going to do it in the proper order this time and I'm going to show you how to bake your textures and prep it for 3d painting and then do said 3d painting and then export it out so that's going to be our last segment of videos we're almost done you guys pat yourself on the back take a break get a drink and then we'll meet back here and prep our body up so we can start painting all right, see you soon.